What's up, friend? Welcome to the Fit Flamingo. I'm Madison, your feel good fitness coach, and we are gonna do a banded workout. We're gonna do total body. We're gonna add in some cardio, some strength, just kind of check all the boxes in a really fun, feel good way. So grab your band and some water, some space to move, and let's get to it. I love using a fabric band, so that's what I have, but feel free to use anything that you have, and we'll just plop the band on the floor for now, we're gonna warm up our whole body. I want us to start with our feet nice and wide, angle the toes out about 45 degrees. Let's find our nice deep squat here, hold it, reach right arm up, then left arm up, stand tall, rain the hands down, squeeze the booty. So coming down into that squat, let's go left arm by the ears, right arm by the ears, and then rain the hands down. So we're just focusing on warming this up as we inhale down, and then exhale, Come to standing, really take your time. Find your breath here, inhale to exhale. Feet press into the floor to bring us all the way up. Good, one more each way with each arm leading. Find your breath, squeeze the booty at the top as it lifts us up. Find it here, last one, beautiful. With those feet nice and wide, we're just gonna golf or swing side to side. So take up space, take your back foot with you kind of pointed toe through there, and so we're gonna feel this through the hip. We're just opening it up. Find your breath. Inhale in, exhale out. Inhale to exhale. Feel the core kind of crunch and pull in as we twist and rotate over one way and then the other, last one each way. Good, okay. Now we're gonna come down to our mat. So take your time getting there. We're gonna go into a tabletop position. So tuck the back toes under, knees under hips, wrist line under the shoulders. Take your left hand on the head, inhale and bring that elbow up towards the ceiling. Exhale, come right back down. So we inhale to open up, take your gaze with you, and then exhale to fall back forward. Inhale to exhale. Good, find your breath. Inhale to exhale. So we're opening up through the chest and getting some shoulder mobility in here before we begin, just really warming up the body with some mobility. Left hand comes down onto the floor, same thing on the right side. So right hand to the head, inhale to open up, exhale to close. Really think about opening through the back of the shoulder blades. So the shoulder blades pull together in the back as the elbow lifts towards the ceiling. Take your gaze with you to get a little bit of a deeper rotation. Inhale, open. Exhale to close. Last one right here. Good. Now, let's pin this down. So let's sit on the back of our heels. We can keep those toes tucked or if it feels better to go feet flat, feel free just to lean four all the way back. I like to stay here on my toes so I get a stretch on my back toe. So we're gonna do a pin down cat cow. So inhale, arch the low back, start to look up and then exhale, round and roll, tuck chin to chest. So we're really starting to isolate the middle and upper back here through this pin down cat cow. Just really trying to get some upper body mobility here. Opening through the chest, inhale to arch and look up slightly. Pull shoulders down and away from the ears. Exhale to round and roll. Inhale to open, exhale round and roll. Good. Now let's walk the hands out and sink into a child's pose. Knees as wide as the mat, big, wide child's pose. Inhale and let your belly fill up with air. Exhale it all out. Rest your head on the mat, your forehead on the mat. And I just want you to take a second right now to just decide how do you wanna show up in this next time of movement? How do you wanna feel at the end of this workout? How do you wanna approach the hard things that might come up? How do you wanna be with yourself right here in this moment? Just kind of take a second to choose that intention. Inhale in, let's round and roll, pass through tabletop, drop the hips, upward dog, look up towards the ceiling, look over the left shoulder, look over the right shoulder. Good, come back center, press into child's pose. Find your breath here, inhale, fill the belly with air, exhale, round and roll, take your time, little rolling wave, pass through tabletop, drop the hips, look up slightly. Look over the right shoulder, look over the left shoulder. Good. All right, press back in a child's pose. And then take your time, walk hands to knees and slowly come on up. Get a nice little forward fold here. All right, grab a sip of water. I'm gonna grab a sip of water. 
All right, we're ready for it. Okay, just to get our heart rate up, let's sidestep this out or move into jumping jacks. I just want us to get our heart rate elevated a little bit more now that we're nice and mobile. Find your breath or sidestep it out, hands alternating out and then in front of our body. Good, so we're combining some cardio, some strength, some core, some arms, some legs here in this. It's gonna be so fun, so good. So hang with me here for 10. Find your breath. Nice tall posture open through the chest. Proud of yourself for showing up, feeling confident for showing up. Let's go five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Grab your band and we are gonna put it over our arms, over the elbows. So about midway on the arm. We're gonna walk this down into a plank position. Take your time getting there. You're gonna stack your wrists over your shoulders and just for a moment, seesaw back and forth. Find your breath if this feels too intense, lower on to the knees and same thing, kind of seesaw side to side. Just find that core, set that core up. Good, now hold nice and steady. Find your breath, inhale in, exhale out. So we're gonna lower down into a push-up. Use that band, help you, and then come on up, okay? Find your breath, adjust the band as needed. We're gonna go for four push-ups, and then we're gonna move into plank jacks. Four push-ups, plank jacks. So hang with me. So we're in our plank position, lower down, push-up. Think about pushing the floor away from you on the way up. You can even drop those knees or lean into a wall or a table to do these. Now hold your plank. We're gonna go for 10 plank jacks in three, two and one plank jack it out, side to side or side tap it out. Try to keep shoulders over wrist line here for five, four, three, two and one. Hold plank steady, four push-ups. Big inhale on the way down. This is so hard for me. Ooh, upper body strength is something I have felt so insecure about in my life. So ooh, we're doing it together. 10 seconds here on our plank jacks. Hang with me. Five, four, three, yep, two, and one. Beautiful, send it into downward dog or child's pose. Child's pose might feel better because that band might hit your face. So just go into child's pose. Breathe into your belly, exhale it out. Breathe it in, exhale it out. Beautiful, okay, come into tabletop position right here. So we're gonna tuck the back toes under, get a nice stretch to the big toe, knees under hips. Wrist line under the shoulders. So we're gonna take an inhale in, and on the exhale, we're gonna press to the hands, press to the feet, lift the knees about one to two inches up off the floor. Okay, here we go. Breathe it in, exhale out, press, engage through the hands, through the toe, rounding through the shoulder blades, the upper back. Knees are lifted about one to two inches up off the floor. Keep the knees under the hips. Hang here for five, four, three, two, and one. Drop it down. Whew. Okay, so visually nothing is happening, but I'm literally out of breath. <laughs> So it's just challenging our quads, cardio, and core right here. Find your breath. We're gonna go one more time just like that. Inhale in, exhale, press through hands and feet, lift. Knees are lifted about one to two inches up off the floor. Find your breath here, hovering tabletop. Hang with me for five, four, three, two, and one, drop it down. Beautiful, if you need to, roll out the wrists. I know we are on the hands and wrists a little bit, so. Feel free to roll them out. Good. All right, we're gonna lower down onto our belly. I just want you to have that band right over the wrist line. So drop it all the way to our belly. We're gonna go Superman lifts and pulls. So first things first, while we're here down on the mat, the best thing we can do in the Superman position is keep the chin tucked and almost start to tuck the lower booty. So we're squeezing the booty and then start to tuck it. So we wanna really protect the low back here. So I'm gonna reach my arms out nice and long past the ears. Inhale, open up, so lift up 
hands and legs up towards the ceiling. Keep them lifted, pull elbows into the body. Extend out long, come down, tap the floor. Reach up strong, pull in, lift out strong, tap down. Inhale, really feel like we're pulling from the shoulder blades. Pull the shoulder blades back together in the back. Take your time, moving with control, not with speed. Focus, focus, focus. Now your hands are pressing into that band. Nice and strong, you got this. Inhale to open up. Exhale to pull. Pull shoulder blades down. You got this, last one. Pull down, hand back up. Beautiful, send yourself in a child's pose. Belly takes up lots of space in between the legs. Inhale in, exhale it out. Inhale in, exhale it out. Beautiful. Now let's flip it over. Bring that band just over the knees, mid thigh. Okay, we're gonna take our time. Lower down nice and slow. Find your breath here. Inhale it in, exhale it out. Knees are hip width apart. Feet are within wiggle distance, about two hands away from your booty. So I want you to press your hands into the mat. And as you do, you're tucking your chin in. So we can kind of start to flatten out the space behind your neck. Get a little bit of a stretch there. Inhale in, let it go. One more breath, good. On your next exhale, let's press the feet into the floor, hands into the floor. Inhale in, exhale, press and lift the hips high. Hold here at the top. So hold here with me, find your breath, inhale in, squeezing the booty, tucking the tailbone. Hold for three, two, and one. I want you to lower down slow. As soon as you tap the floor, come back up. So inhale down, exhale, pop. Inhale down, exhale, pop up. So control on the way down and then power up. Think about coming down with control, explode up. Good, inhale, exhale, pop. Inhale down, exhale up. Three more. Really controlling the breath because when we focus on breathing through our belly and engaging the deep core through our breath, we're really setting our whole entire body up for success. Hold of the top, 10, nine, eight, seven, squeeze the booty, five, four, you got this, three, two, and one. Beautiful, now holding at the top, knees pulse out and then back neutral. So we never cave in, we're coming hip distance, out, hip distance, out, hip distance. So really resisting into the band you are strong show up for yourself right here you already have strength inside of you let's use it let's access it let's feel so freaking proud of it inhale exhale three yep two come on last one lower down so freaking slow 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 good knees roll into the chest if it feels good Inhale in, rock them side to side if it feels better. Keep the feet on the floor and just windshield wiper the knees side to side. Both are really great options here. Inhale in, exhale it out. Inhale in, exhale out. Good, one more breath. Let it all go. So good, okay. So now we're gonna go into a dead bug. So bring that band around the ankles and the whole time we're in this, I want you to keep a nice solid resistance into the band. So not so hard where your knees, your legs are like going out past your body, but keep it right here, hip width apart, but engage into the band and start doing that right now. Reach hands up out of chest, flatten the back, pull the belly button in towards the spine. Nice and engaged here, find your breath, inhale in. Now both feet are gonna tap, touch the floor, tap, come right back. Keeping a 90 degree bend here in the knees. Lower down slow, come up slow. Find your breath. If this feels too hard, celebrate it, honor it. Only come down as far with your feet as you can while maintaining a flat back. So even if it's just like a tiny inch, I love it. That is so freaking good. The more you do a move like this, the stronger your core is gonna be 
the better you're gonna be able to engage through the low back. So honor where you're at today because it's freaking incredible. Hang with me, you are doing a really good job. Find the variation and the depth that works for you. I don't want that low back to lift up. Woo, I'm shaking. Let's go, three more. Good, two. Last one, you got this. Beautiful. All right, bring that band right back over the knees. We're gonna go glute bridge one last time right here. Palms into the floor, feet strong into the mat. Knees are hip width apart. I'm gonna take an inhale in. On the exhale, press into the feet, start to lift the booty up off the floor. Squeeze that booty, hold here. Hang with me, 10. Find your breath. Breathe into the belly. Let the belly get big. Three, two, one. Start to rock the hips side to side. Almost like you're channeling your inner hula girl. Just rolling it side to side. So when we move to the left, squeeze that left booty to the right. Squeeze that right booty side to side. You are doing a really good job. And I just want to honor you and celebrate you for showing up in this time of movement. Way to freaking go. Hang with me here, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it nice and center, lower down slow, pop up for five, lower down slow. Good, keep that booty squeezing nice and firm here at the top, that's engaging our core. Last one, hold at the top for five, four, three, two, and one, lower down slow. Beautiful, let's take the band up off our legs and do a little bit of a stretch here. So pull that right knee into the chest. Rock it side to side. Inhale in, exhale out. Inhale, on the exhale, use your left hand, guide that knee over to the right, or to the left, drop it all the way onto the left and reach your right palm out to the side. So right arm nice and long, palm facing the ceiling, breathe into your belly, let it go. Breathe it in, let it go. Good, return the hand back to the body. Leg comes back to the body and then switch it out. Left knee pulls in, right leg goes out long. Give yourself a knee hug here. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose, exhale. Use that right hand, guide that left knee over to the right. Drop it to the floor. Reach left arm out beside you, palm facing the ceiling. Nice little spinal twist here, opening through the chest, breathing into the belly, nice through the low back, breathe it in. You got this, let it go. Return the hand back to the body, leg comes back to the body. Start to rock and roll yourself up. And we're gonna finish with one more set of those push-ups because I wanna challenge myself and I wanna do it together, okay? And so this is just a good way to end with something that is hard and to feel really proud of ourselves. So let's take our time lowering down. That band is coming just above the elbows. Okay, we're gonna have our hands on the mat, right at the shoulder height. We can even start, let's start on our knees and check in with form first. So tuck the back toes under. We're here on our knees. I want you to squeeze your booty right here. Press hands into the mat and start to round your shoulders, your upper body, your upper back. Start to round it like you're trying to tap the ceiling with your shoulders. So it's rounded and I'm tucking my booty. Okay, we're engaging core. We're gonna lower down nice and slow. Bring the elbows close to the body. Pull the shoulder blades back behind us. We get power from our shoulder blades and then press through the hands to come up. Good, lower down nice and slow with me. Inhale in, exhale, press through hands, press the floor away from you. Good, let's go for two more. Inhale in, exhale, press. Keep those shoulder blades engaged in the back as we lower down, press the floor away from you. Beautiful, now step left foot long, then right foot long. We're here in our plank, let's go for 10 plank jacks. Three, two, one, go. Out and in, out and then back in, shoulder width. Good, five more, five, four, three, two, and one. Either from the knees or from the feet. Woo, four push-ups. Woo, I'm shaking. This is hard, let's go. Give me two more. You can do hard things. Last one, Whew. press, breath, breath, Woo. 10. Plank jacks right here, challenge it. Let's finish it. 
Ooh, here we go, five. Come on, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, knees come down. Oh, lose the band. Find your breath. Let's go into downward dog or child's pose. Find your breath. Inhale in. Exhale out, walk your dog. We're just holding nice and steady. Inhale to exhale. Breathe it in. Let it go. Good. Now let's come seated. Let's wrap it up right here. Just legs crossing, crisscross, or they can be out in front of you, whatever feels better. I want you to take your hands to your, to your heart and just breathe it in. Inhale to fill you up. Exhale to let it go. And go ahead and close the eyes for a second. Inhale it in. Exhale it out. One more breath. Let it go. Friend, I just wanna celebrate you for showing up. And I wanna remind you that you are more than enough. You have always been enough. You are doing a really good job. And I'm so proud of you for showing up to this time of movement. Thank you for moving with me. I love ya and I cannot wait to see you in the next video. Bye friend.